Uh, my name is Anmol Bering. I am the president of the Bering NDE Center and we provide training in Houston area and on a worldwide basis. In this module I will be covering the NDT certification processes and NDT standards for certification of inspectors. Uh, there are many standards which are used worldwide and the main ones are SNTC 1A which is written by ASNT, the NAS 410 for aerospace, the ACCP which is also written by ASNT, PCN which is as per ISO 9712 and it's practiced by BINDT, the JSNDI and the CGSB is from Canada and CP189 is also from ASNT. The training we provide is as per ASNT's SNTC 1A and uh, in this training we uh, a person actually gets certified to a level 1 or level 2 based on five requirements and these five requirements are education, uh, classroom training, examinations, field experience and vision test. As far as the education is concerned, mostly a high school is what is required or a GED and for training hours, uh, it depends on the method. Some methods require less training and some methods require more training. For magnetic particle inspection and liquid penetrant testing, the number of hours of training are 20 hours and 12 hours respectively and for ultrasonic testing, eddy current testing and radiography testing the number of hours would be 80 hours of training to be a level 2. So as you can see depending on the method you may require uh, a lot of training hours. One thing you have to be careful about training hours is that it doesn't mean that you have you require 80 hours of training that you just sit in the class and somebody just teaches you some stuff and uh, that's not uh, and it doesn't cover the whole uh, course outlines which are actually recommended by ASNT. So the body of knowledge is what we call is very important in the training program. We have to cover a lot of material in this training program. If you just sit in the class and just cover UT thickness measurement and hope to become a level 2, that is really not going to be a level 2 training as far as we are concerned. So for UT level 2, we do train people in angle beam inspection to do the weld inspections. And uh, as far as the examinations are concerned, the employer is responsible for administering the examinations. There will be three examinations which are uh, general, specific and practical. In general there are 40 questions and specific has 20 questions. Field experience is another requirement to be a level 2. For magnetic particle testing the requirement is 280 hours and for ultrasonic testing the requirement for experience is 840 hours. Anyway, uh, uh, once a person meets all these requirements then he can be certified to a level 2. Just remember that the certification is the responsibility of the employer. So once you are once you meet all the five requirements, you will be certified by your employer. And once, so you will be a uh, level two certified by your employer in that specific company. If you leave that company, then you will lose your certification. So, do you have any questions? Any questions? Okay, thank you. And uh, we welcome you to our center and we do provide training in all these methods which are magnetic particle testing, liquid penetrant testing, ultrasonic testing, eddy current testing and radiographic interpretation and visual testing also. Thank you very much.